Girl Talk is brought to you in part by M&MI Institute and by Prescott True Value Hardware. And it is Girl Talk time. We've got Angela Scott with us, our Girl Talk gal, and she's got some gadgets you might have to have in the kitchen. They're so amazing. Angela, <laughs> like, what in the world have you brought us today? I mean, you are going to fall in love. <laughs> this has literally changed my life. This is called a sous vide cooker, and you may have heard of the term sous vide. It's a French term meaning under vacuum. So you vacuum, okay. vacuum seal something, and then you submerge it in water, and it basically cooks from the water from the outside in. So if you go through Starbucks, they now have the sous vide egg white bites or the bacon bites. They're little round egg white um, bites. They're fabulous. Uh -huh. So this is how I even learned about the term. I quickly had to Google, how do you make these? It was a little bit more intensive than I wanted to, to do. <laughs> so I found this awesome, awesome, awesome sous vide cooker, which is actually so easy. So what you do- Even though so, it looks scary. It does, it looks scary, it's not at all. So okay. what you, I, I made a steak. I made this particular steak last night. So easy, so I'm just gonna walk you through it and show you exactly how we can do this. Okay. First thing you do is you download the Innova app on your phone. Oh So basically gosh. I just put in that I have a ribeye steak here that I want to cook. I plugged it in, put it in my in my phone. It, it talks to the Innova cooker and it goes to the temp that you want. So it says it needs to be at 129 degrees. So it's going to get there. Okay. Once it gets there, it's going to manage it through my app. Once it gets there, we are going to take a baggie, and I just have the, the steak in here, which I've already prepared. And what you do is you put the steak, I put a tablespoon of butter, I put some rosemary and some thyme, salt and pepper. Easy enough, right? Right. You put that in a baggie. So what you want to do is seal the baggie. So if you don't have an, an airtight vacuum machine at your house, uh -huh. super easy. We're going to use the uh, water method. So what you do is you actually put it in the water. Have you sealed that up? I haven't yet, so okay, it's Okay, don't seal it yet. Right, so we're okay. going to work on sealing it through the water. So the water, the air rises, right? So we're uh -huh. going to just keep submerging it until all the air is out. Most of the air, I mean, you don't have to be super particular about it. Okay, but, um, as much as you can get out. As much as you can get out, because you're going to want the steak to sink, sink to the bottom. Um, one thing you want to make sure is that it's not attached to the actual Anova cooker. So you just keep it over here. It's really easy to do. Okay. Um, I'm going to put it over here. And then what I have is a, is a clamp. You can use just one of those clamps like for binders, like a school clamp. Sure, because they're metal. Like they're metal. Anything okay. metal works really well. I was a little nervous thinking, is this actual Ziploc baggie going to Gonna melt hold on, up. My, on my pan? <laughs> and right. it doesn't at all. They, they actually Amazing. recommend using these. So okay. then I just clip, clamp that to that. It's, it's going to, you, you wait until it actually gets to the cooking temperature that you want before you submerge it. But for this purpose, I just submerged it at 123 as opposed to 129. Okay. And the butter is already starting to the melt. The butter so is starting to what melt. What is different about this than just boiling your water and putting your steak in it? What's the difference? Yeah, well, this, see how this is uh, vacillating? It's an oscillating machine at the mm -hmm. bottom. So okay. it's actually turning the water. And it's doing something to water, so it's actually cooking the steak that way. Wow. There so is are a we way to cook in a spa because we are getting cooked in a spa. That. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. A little too similar here. Yeah. So now you just basically you can walk away. You leave it for an hour. It's fabulous. You can do two at a time. Let's say you're you know for dinner. Sure. You just you don't have to stand out at your grill and watch it. You know it's quicker on a grill for sure. Uh -huh. But you don't have to stand out there and watch your meat. You can be inside socializing that with your guests. Turn out perfectly. And it's gonna. And here's one that I made last night, and it turned out nice. absolutely perfectly. So there's there's um. There's a, there are directions for if you like it rare, if you like it medium rare, well done, however you like okay, it. Okay, is it just for meat? This it is not just for no. meat. You can actually make eggs, you can make chicken, there are all sorts of things. So on this awesome app that they have, the mm -hmm. Nova app, it tells you recipes for just about anything. Nice. Now, yeah. why have this on your phone? Is this like if you're at work and then you want to get your stuff started, and so you can just do it from wherever you are, and this thing starts up and you takes off? You absolutely could do that. You know, I'm moving around my house, so I don't have to be at the kitchen. I don't have to be in the kitchen doing it, right. and I hit start, and I can kind of watch how long do I have. I don't have to go and set a timer. I just look at my phone. You don't have to keep running back in the kitchen. Yeah, and it tells me. It tells me when it's ready. Does um, this turn itself off? It doesn't turn itself off. You need to oh, turn okay. it off. You can do it through the app as well, though. Oh, sure. So, so, yeah, so again, if you're out in the yard it. or whatever, you go, okay, let's just turn it off and food is all ready. Exactly. And then one last thing, Sandy. Um, I like to, so this is, this is a great cast iron um, skillet that I have. Yes. It's actually like an indoor small grill. Um, you just put it on your stove like this, and then I just sear it, you know, two minutes on each side after I finished, just to get it a little bit crispier on the outside, because oh, this clever. process doesn't make it crispy. The awesome okay. thing about this is that it literally cooks it consistently throughout. So there are times, right, when you've had a steak where you're like, oh, the ends are a little bit more well mm -hmm. done than the center. This cooks it evenly throughout. 
Okay, this is amazing. I, I mean, got what this a strange on Amazon, thing. and it's just, I, I, I strongly <laughs> recommend it. It's actually changed my life. It's really quite, quite And you're great. having fun. I want to see I the am. eggs on this. All so right. So I thought, you know, we can't really just have steak for breakfast, right? We'll, we'll add some right. eggs, steak and eggs. But I wanted to just show you the Nespresso machine. These are quite popular now. The Keurig is very popular, the Keurig. Sure. Um, this is just actually the espresso machine, which I love. I made you an espresso right here. Oh my, look um, how lovely. So you can have this, and then um, oh, I just wanted nice. to make one with you quickly. So this is so yeah, easy to do. It's pretty? Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? Well, I know it probably tastes really good too. Yes, yeah, so but... we'll taste that next. Okay. So it's so easy to do. So right, you just have the pods, just like the Keurig, you have the mm -hmm. pod. But they're tinier. But they're tinier. Mm -hmm. You open it, you know, so, so easy. You put it in, mm -hmm. right, shut it, Slide just like we do. In. And then, um, and then we press, let's see, are we plugged in? Yes, we are. So then we press um, what we want, right? So we press this. Sorry, one second, let's see. We're gonna have to do this again. There we go, okay. There we go. Okay, and we press, and here it goes. So it'll take a second to turn on. And you've got on. water in the back. This has a canister in the, back, in the yeah. back with water. Oh, and there it goes. Okay, it's, exactly. it's so getting all goes. geared up. Yeah, and so while that's um, brewing in the Nespresso machine, what I like to do is I love this um, milk foamer. So these are really easy, too. I mean, these are the things that sound somewhat intimidating, right? Like I'm going to foam my own milk for my, for my espresso. Uh -huh. But this is great. So you just pour a little bit of milk in here. A tiny bit. We got a little bit. This there. saves from shaking it up in a jar. It does. Yeah, <laughs> you just pour a little bit in there, and then you turn it on, okay. and it just starts frothing it for a quick second. So oh my just goodness. like on yours, on the top, yeah, the little so foam. There it is. There it is. Yeah. So. And you have different flavors, obviously, that you can do with this. And you know, what I love about espresso. The flavors are so pretty. The colors are so pretty. Yes. They come in like just a variety of colors. So this should be just about done. Um, and it's kind of shortly. spinning in there. Yeah. Isn't that yeah, so cool? Yeah, it's just cool spinning in there. You see that spinning? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, everything's it. doing this for you. You just kind of throw stuff That's in it. and then it does all the work for That's you. That's it. Isn't that so great? Oh, that is so amazing. Yeah, so oh, fabulous espresso. We, we have a foamer machine. Yeah. We have this like <laughs> instant steak, eggs, whatever cooker that right. is, you can run from your phone, which just kills me. <laughs> right. Angela Scott, amazing and, and, and even a more powerful Vitamix. The Vitamix is great. That's, too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you. We for are totally me. inspired okay, with good. the new technology. Good. We can cook better and be happier. Okay.